Hey, this is Taylor with SageFrog, and this is just a quick video showing you how to audit your internal links using Screaming Frog. So you might be looking to either find new link opportunities or um, audit the existing links you have on the website. Um, but if you were to do this in Screaming Frog, it is very easy and it can save you a ton of time when you're trying to uh, when you're trying to audit your links. So uh, getting started, I'll just start off with um, finding link opportunities in Screaming Frog. So it's fairly easy. If you want to find any opportunities on here, um, all you would need to do is come over here to configuration, down to custom, and then custom search. So basically what this is going to do is this is going to be a custom filter for Screaming Frog to basically find specific parameters that I set to it. So in this case, I want to find link opportunities. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set what I want to find. So in this case, it's going to be a specific set of text. You could also set it to rejects if you know how to use it. But in this case, we're just going to use one singular um, keyword that we want to look for. So you'll enter your, en enter your keyword. And in this case, we're going to use brand awareness and uh, the most important thing that you want to look for is you want to look for pages that don't have any anchor text attached to it. So basically what this is going to do is this is going to crawl the entire website or when I should say when the crawl is initiated, uh, Screaming Frog is also going to scan the website for all mentions of brand awareness that don't have internal links attached to it. Um, so I'll come down here and once you have that custom search set in place, you're going to want to start the uh, you're going to want to reinitiate the crawl. So now that the crawl is finished, I'm going to come over here to um, this little like uh, drop down menu and I'm going to come down to custom search. And this is now going to show me all of the different searches or all of the different um, pages on my website where they found that specific text of brand awareness, but no um, internal links attached to it. So what you're going to want to do is come here and then you're going to want to filter highest to lowest. And now you can see there's all of these different pages on the website that mention brand awareness, but don't have an internal link attached to it. So in the case of something like this, um, there's 18 different mentions of brand awareness. So um, there is a good chance that maybe this page has a link attached to brand awareness, but they're counting all other mentions of brand awareness as um, pages without links attached to it. So you're still going to want to go through each one and manually audit them to see if they actually don't have the desired link you want to include. But I recommend looking at these pages down here where you only have one mention of the keyword term and um, and you're to assume that there are um, that it likely doesn't have a link attached to it. So that's the first way of finding um, link opportunities. Kind of jumping into the link audit, um, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, the custom search, in my opinion, is the best for finding opportunities. But if you want to actually audit the links on your website, there's a few few ways you can do this. So you'll want to come over here to the links tab, and you'll want to look for any pages that are, you know, high in crawl depth. And when I say crawl depth, this is basically the amount of clicks it takes from the home page to get to the specific page. Um, so in most cases, we want to have our crawl depth to around three to five. So anything above this, we'll want to see if there's anywhere else on the website where we can add internal links to kind of um, bring them up from that crawl depth. Uh, you can do this here in the links tab, or you can come over here to the site structure tab. And over here, you have this little graph that shows you the, um, the crawl depth of the website. So as you can see, most of the URLs on this website are found within this um, one to two position, but then you kind of have some outliers once you get past position five. Um, so you'll wanna look at this graph and see which URLs are important to you and what you can do to kind of bring them up in that crawl depth. Because once your page is probably, once your page is above five or above a click depth of five, Google is going to think this page is less important. The closer the page is to the home page, um, the more important Google cons considers it to be. Um, and if you don't want to look at the crawl depth through a chart, you can also come here and switch this to a table. And this will make, be a little bit more, uh, a little bit easier to digest. So. Um, now we actually have numbers for what this looks like. And you can come up here to see the different subfolders of 
um, URLs that have this high click depth. So I can come all the way up to 10. And now we have all of the pages on the website where, um, where they are found uh, beyond a, cr a crawl depth of 10. So moving on, another thing that you'll want to check is if you have any links with, uh, if you have any broken links on the website. So the easiest way to do this is to just come over here on the right hand side, come back to internal search, which is the main, the main page. And then you'll want to scroll down to response codes, and then you'll want to select, uh, select client error. And you'll now have all of the 404s on your website. You want to switch to internal. You'll have all of the 404s on your website that have internal links pointing towards them. So um, it looks like in this case, there's only one URL or one 404 that's found on this website. Normally this can vary, but um, when this happens, you'll just want to come over here and then look at in links. And then if you have multiple links pointing to this page, then you'll want to redirect it or update the links that are pointing towards it. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention too, um, another method you could use for auditing your internal links is to come back over here to this links tab down here and instead of looking at crawl depth you can also look at you can look to see if any of these pages are considered orphaned so you can see here this page is all the way has a click depth of 20 and if you look over here there's only one unique link and this is probably another link that's coming from probably like a crawl depth or click depth of like 15 or so um, so this is I would technically consider this to be an orphan page and pretty high up in the crawl depth so you'll want to filter this from lowest to highest to see which URLs you can um, you can use to internally link to. Um, the more pages that you use to internally link to these um, kind of low hanging fruit link or uh, internal link opportunities, the more valuable that page is going to be. So not only are you going to bring it up from that crawl depth, but you're also going to show to Google that you actually do want this page to be shown and you do want to send users to this page. So um, Google's going to consider it to be more valuable. And the last thing I just want to touch on specifically when it comes to the crawl analysis or when it comes to um, auditing your link or link opportunities is to also review the uh, force directed crawl diagrams or just the all of the diagrams Screaming Frog has. So this will basically give you a, kind of like a bird's eye view of what your website looks like. So you can see which pages are kind of far out like this. I mean, obviously, in this case, this is a 301. But you're going to have some pages that are that are pretty far out. So in this case, you have a six. This is a resource. So kind of beyond that um, ideal three to five click depth range. So in this case, this would be a good opportunity I'd look for to um, to find more internal linking opportunities on the website. And you can see here too, it only has two unique links pointing towards it. So this would be a great opportunity to um, find more opportunities on the website. And if you don't want to use the force directed crawl diagram, because it is a little chaotic sometimes, you can use the force directed directory tree diagram. Sorry, wrong one I was looking at. The directory tree graph diagram. So now instead of looking at that like giant circle with all of this like chaos going on, your links are now organized based on the depth they're found in. So, um, you can see here, this is kind of how Google is crawling your site too. So you have one level, you have the next level, you have the third level, the fourth, fifth, and so on. So um, I recommend using these if you're trying to figure out how Google is crawling your site. Also, I apologize, I made a mistake. So this is the, um, the start of the path. This is HTTPS. And then this is the home page over here. So realistically, you're starting from this link. And as you can see here, level, level, level. Um, so you really want to look to see if there are any opportunities on the website where you're going to have links that are kind of like far out in this range that are beyond that ideal um, three to five click depth range. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. It's very easy, very straightforward. Um, and it's super helpful if you're trying to um, audit the internal links found on your website. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, thanks for watching.